Morning, Pigeon family. Morning, Pigeon family. This is Ham's Loft. It's uh, Sunday, about 3 in the afternoon. It's roughly about 90 degrees or in the low 90s or the high 80s. Uh, got the flights over there. Just fed them. Put some water in for them, their bath. Uh, I got the top cage, which I usually use for separating birds if they look a little sick or something. The bottom cage, I know, is mostly mostly cocks, and I think I got one hen in there. I can't be for sure. But the uh, flight cage, you can see, they're doing fairly well. I just tossed about three eggs uh, that they had in there. These are mostly, these should be mostly all hens, but I think I got a cock in there. I hear them every now and then, but I don't actually see them doing the movement. All right, that's my breeding section. I still haven't broken down yet. Got their water. It's my flying team. And, and these are my birds I was gonna let out this weekend, but I got tied up in some other stuff. So I gave away, let's take a look in the inside. Pretty dirty. Okay, this is the look in the inside. I put up these perch because I had so many in here. And you can see, but you can see how the flying team has been thinned out. I gave away 20, 27 birds. I thought I had uh, 30, the, I thought the other flyer gave me 30 something. They actually gave me almost 40. So I put about, I got rid of about 27 birds out of this one. They were still young. Some of them had the little fuzz on their head, what have you. But I gave him away because he got hit by a raccoon and took out almost 30 of his young birds. Now, if he can settle them, fine, because they had never been out on my uh, loft. They had just been in the Avery. Now, if he can settle them, then he got birds. If you don't settle them, then it's just birds that just get lost. All right, got my water out for them to take their bath. And what they should do, they've been doing pretty well. I've been letting them out almost every day. So we're going to take a quick look and see what they do. Lately, what I normally do is just open the pen, let them out. I don't chase them out. I go on the inside. Most of the time, they just come right out. They fly to the top, stay on the loft. And you can see on this one, that's the backyard on my house. They, uh, they have stopped going up on the roof, and they stay on their roof. So I'm gonna set this up. See if we can keep recording and see what they do. All right, let's hit pause. Okay, what they should do is I'll let the cage door down and they should just go to the roof, hopefully. They go up there. I'm gonna push them up like I always do.
And there they go. Uh, this is going to be a short video because it's a few on the roof right here. Normally I'll just go get the flag and flag them up, but I did tell you it's about 90 degrees out here. This is the first time that I let them out. Everything is in the shade. So I can honestly say if you can see them pretty good, I got them in the can in, in the camera view they are coming along so right now based on what I got on the roof I got a total of 26 I just let out I've been letting 26 out all along the line I had lost one but uh I want to I don't think y'all want to keep watching them go all the way around but I let them fly as long as they want and then when they come in, they normally come in. They flying a little low, but they have been branching out each day. I think I let them out three days in a row. It's been raining every day this week. So Saturday was the only day it didn't rain. I did let them out for an hour and a half. They flew. Okay, it's my black. I've been trying to get my wife to open the pen at five o'clock every day when I'm at work so that they can at least fly around. I know they're gonna go in and eat after they come out. Get ready to do some cleaning. Okay, wherever they go, I don't know where they went. Oh, there they go. All right, I'm not gonna keep bothering you with this. Okay, since uh, the beginning of the, I guess since probably the last month and a half, been trying to do right by trying to keep them healthy. Because at one point I started looking, my birds started looking pretty shabby. And I do mean shabby, the flights especially. So I put them on. First thing I did about three weeks ago, I wormed them with ways. I wormed every single bird I got. Then... I came back after I wormed them, and then I gave them a, a couple of days rest, and then I went straight to probiotics. I stayed on probiotics for, I want to say, a straight uh, two weeks. Gave them a couple of days of just regular fresh water. Then I went to four and one. So you can count up the days right now. You can see the water. Well, I just took it out of their pen. But since I gave them a bath, they ain't gonna probably drink some. But uh, they've been on uh, four and one for the past three to four days. So I'm gonna keep them on, on uh, four and one for eight days instead of seven. I wanna go ahead and try to flush out the, flush whatever's in them out. And let's see, most of the time, soon the birds come down, they already, I guess they came down, I guess. I see them on the roof right there. I have to look around. I'll look around for them in a second. Uh, you can see some of them are sitting on the water. Some on top of the roof. Some of them went in the inside. They come back out because I got no food in it because I was supposed to be calling myself cleaning it. But I was worried about giving them, giving them some exercise first. I got two of them on the roof. They're right on the edge over there. Bunch of knuckleheads. What makes it so bad is a pair. I already know it's a cock. Cock blue bar and a chocolate hen. So we'll work with them later. 
All right, this one's for you, Kins and Matt. That's the Incredible Hulk. Let's see if he's got a little yellow band on his leg. Uh, he's a juicy one. So let's see. Hey, get out of here. There you go. Only one yellow snap band. Yeah, that's been a no-no so far, so let's uh, eliminate this. Now, since they took a bath, I understand that the sun is up there, and they're probably trying to sun themselves, you know, try to get the, trying to get comfortable. But everybody knows bad habits are bad habits. So I actually chased some of them off, and the rest of them flew off the shed and flying up all right well that's all the here's my little sit get my little buckets out and i'll start washing uh waterers out and uh so like always let me give my shouts out to our uk family like always kenzie mack joe tipplers hell flights mark hunt high flyer ascending loft rod and rollers love that name and also give a shout out to our Hawaiian family. Hawaiian Brian, Aloha Pigeon, Sean, Antonio, Dominique Lacing. If he's flying out of the big island. That's the one with the volcano going crazy at. Alright. And then let's give a special shout out to Thomas White. I had some birds that Pancake gave me. They didn't have a band on them. And I called Thomas and he said he'd take them. So I gave him four pretty good birds that uh, Pancake gave me. I ride the Koopa, Peter Raymond, that's five and 10 loft, Stratus 5907, RC 33. Send a shout out to Danny, to Rico Pigeons, Don Pigeons, Roller Pigeons, Pigeon Master, Adrian P. I uh, look at your videos all the time, I haven't seen it in a while. Game Over 826, Roller Pigeon Evolution, that's with Smitty. I love watching this guy uh, uh, videos. Uh, we got a bunch of them coming down some kind of way. Quacking Pigeon, Muhammad. I'm gonna give him a shout out. Uh, Donneville Loft, Hitting Hollow Loft. Definitely on the go loft. I love the videos, bro. B-Rod 681, Tipplers and Flights. I think he's in New Jersey. Uh, Tipple the Man 266, as always. Skywatcher. I think he's been hit by the Hawk, devastated this summer. And uh, Homestead Piper. If I forgot you, I'm sorry. I'm trying to remember everything. I even wrote something down. I ain't going to lie to you. All right. Thanks for watching. Shouts out to all the flyers and definitely all my subscribers or anybody who subscribed to my channel. Thank you very much. Comment. Do what you do. A good comment, bad comment, things that I can improve, feel free. Hit me up. Peace.